Hey Stingers, how you doing? So I'm gonna make this a quick video as I don't want to keep these girls waiting much longer in this box. Um, unfortunately they were supposed to be here last Thursday, but uh, well, six days later here they are, so... <laughs> I'm a bit nervous as we've had some really cold nights down here in Vic, um, getting down to like minus one, minus two. So let's just get straight into them and hopefully they are okay. The other fortnight I had a couple of Goliaths stuck in the post for nine days. They were okay, but it took them a while to, look, yeah, to settle in. But hopefully these girls will be okay. Fingers crossed. I am so nervous, it's like at the same time I don't want to open it but I have to because I just I don't want to find what's happened in, in the worst case but you know they really need to get out. Oh thank f <sighs> Okay so, so far I can see two and from what I can see they look okay. Come on sweethearts. Yeah, here she is. Hello, beautiful. I've only ever managed to get one other Philogius PQ113, um, apart from slings, but as an adult, they are quite difficult to get sometimes. But I do have a video of my PQ113 uh, getting paired up with her male. Uh, she's here. I'll put a link down the bottom because it is up on my channel. Okay, one. Now, as far as I can see, she looks okay. She's huddled up, so she's probably cold. The boxes feel cold. Not the box, sorry. The containers feel cold. And last but not least, can't see her, but let's get them out. Right, let's get that out of the way. Now, I'll just go grab some containers for them to put them into. Uh, I don't have enough substrate. I think I've only got enough substrate for one terrarium, so I'm going to have to do some more. So I'll get them out of their containers. Uh, I'll turn the heater back on. Uh, I won't blast it hot because I don't want them getting shocked from going somewhere cold to, to someone really warm. Uh, so I'll probably just sit it on, uh, say, 20, 22 degrees. Uh, they'll be fine for that. And once I've got their substrate all made, I'll build their terrariums up. I will record that as well so you guys can see what I'm doing and then we'll get them in but for now I'll just go get some containers. Alright got some containers. Once I'm finished uh, working out there I'll start filming out there because I can't keep turning the light on in here too often. Uh, it will be a couple months before these girls will, will lay their eggs but I'm thinking what I'll do uh, just in case I do have to come in and out of here because all my everything I have is in this room So I do have to come here quite often at the moment So I'm thinking of putting like you know some kind of pull down curtain or something there just so I can cover them up um, And I can come in and out and they're not getting disturbed by the light either Okay, these are big girls so I'm gonna do what I always do and I'm gonna grab a tub now this tub <laughs> These guys these girls can just easily run out of this tub. They're Philogius, they're, you know, we all know Philogius, they're great at climbing. Still, usually when they hit the edge, they just stop, they don't keep going, but uh, hopefully they don't keep going. <laughs> I can just get them straight into these tubs for now. Uh, but yes. It doesn't look like I have much room in here where I'm standing at the moment, unfortunately, because where the camera is, I have to pull the table all the way to the corner. <laughs> so there actually is quite a fair bit of room, just not there at the moment. Now, where is that tub? Oh, it's honey! Where to go? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Ignore that. When you spend so much time by yourself around insects, you start saying weird stuff because they can't judge you. All right, uh, I'm gonna start off with the, the first two that I can see that are alive. Uh, and the one that's covered up and I can't see, I'll get her out last because I'm nervous about her. But she should be okay, the others are okay. Um, my supplier, he packs them well and I've never been disappointed. But let's just hope they get out and it'll be all good. Got my tweezers, got my brush. Nice, fatty end. It's good, it's soft, and because it's long, if they ever turn around and decide to bite it, they, will ne they never seem to actually go for 
Uh, the handle itself and always seem to bite into the brush, which is good and warm because it's nice and soft and it's not going to do them any damage. All right, let's cut them open. You ready, sweetheart? I just want you to gently climb out and into hell or even into the tub. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, you are just beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's get closer. There we are. Okay, you want to stretch out those legs for me? Hey. Actually, let's, let's just put you on the top now. And then everybody can get a good view of you. Come on. Good girl. That's it. Ah, oh, that's it. Look. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? There we go. Now, isn't she just a stunner? Look at her. All right, let's get nice and close for a second. Just beautiful. And you can see why everybody just wants one because they are just a stunning species. And the same with my other girl behind me. She was just so gentle and so nice and didn't even threaten the male at all. So I'm hoping these girls are nice as well. Uh, he is a big boy and I would easily say he's bigger than her. Um, if not the same size, so he should do a good job. Um, but I'm not sure how big these ones are yet. So, okay. You've been nice and calm for now. Now let's get you into a container and just put you on a shelf until I can get your substrate ready. But oh my god, I'm just in love with you. This side. <laughs> Look at that, she's not even flinching. But she has had a long travel in the post, so she's probably just really tired, worn out, and most likely cold, so her reactions are just gonna be a little bit slower. But now I've said that, I've probably jinxed myself. Come on, sweetie, it's okay. Yeah, I know, it's only gonna be for a short, for a short time. Just a short time. And then I'll have you in your, in a big home, which is cozy, and you can web up, and. Get all creative. Yeah, I know I'm touching you. I mean, good girl. Yeah. Well. Okay, let's get number two out. Now, I can't see really how she's positioned because her legs are all curled up. It's not the death curl. Don't worry. That's just something they do to help uh, shield themselves and uh, to regulate their to regulate the warmth around them as well. So let's get closer. There she is. So I'll just get the tweezers and peel this away. Oh, hello, beautiful. Hello. Yes. Hello. Aren't you just gorgeous? I'm sorry that I talk like this a lot. I really do love my spiders. And I get stuck for words because really, she is gorgeous. <laughs> I just love my PQ113s. They're just stunning. Now I'll say she's a little bit bigger than the last girl. Um, do I have my thingy? Now this is only 100 millimeters long because I used it to measure a lot of other stuff. So her back leg is up well both of them are so i'm gonna have to guess it i don't want to push it and scare her and have her run off so i'm just gonna get a rough idea on how big she is but from what i can see uh, i would say at least easily 130 millimeters we need to give her a good feed she's a little skinny not too skinny um but she does need a good feed because she is a big girl um, but once she's settled, I'll give her at least, I'll give these girls at least, you know, two days, three days to settle in. What are you doing? She's being weird. But I'll give these girls at least two days uh, just to settle in, um, get used to their area, and then I'll give them a feed and see how they'll go. Look at those long legs. No, oh, hello. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, sweetie. They're beautiful. Look at those long legs. Actually, yours are pretty spread out at the moment. I think you get a better idea now. Yeah, she's easily 130, 140 mils. So she does have a lot of growing to do, which is great because she's that means she's still young uh, or, you know, a reasonable age. But this could also be her first pairing. So um, we will get her all fat and then we'll mate her up with her new boyfriend. Who's a lucky guy, by the way. Four girlfriends now. Whew. Nah, that's a bit much. Oh, I'm so honey. Um, they're really sensitive to, really sensitive to wind, not very, not a huge fan of it at all. And I gave her a little bit of skier. Just a little bit. Good girl. That's it. Alright, that's number two aside. Now let's get to number three and see how she's doing. Hopefully she's okay. Um, these two are doing fine, so I got I do have high hopes for her, but um let's just get her out. Okay, let's get this last girl out of the container. Hopefully she is a okay. Oh beautiful. Awesome, all three of them are okay even after being delayed in the post and a few cold nights. But they should be nice and happy in here because all my other teas are thriving. So hopefully they will too. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Come on. That's it. Oh, stretch your legs. Oh, that must feel good. Go. Now she's another beautiful size as well. I'm going to give her at least 140 millimeters easily. Yeah, nah, 130. Still close enough. These girls seem to be pretty clean and don't have any mites, which is great. Uh, so let's get her in the other container so I can go get the substrate ready for them. Uh, I should have done it yesterday, but I was just flat out. All right, let's get this girl into the container. Hopefully she's nice about it. Come on, sweetie. There you go. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn you. Yeah, I know. Let's just turn that around so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Come on. There we go. Good girl. Come on. Good girl, that's it. There you go. Come on. Good girl. No, no, don't shut up. There we go. There we go. Good girl. I'll be right back. Substrate is all made up for them and they have been very patient girls. So let's get the table cleared, get the terrariums up there and get the enclosures all made up for them and then put them in and hopefully they do like it, but we will know by the next day because if they start whipping up like the rest of the girls have in here, then it's all good. The great thing about these terrariums is if you're trying to clean them out, it can always be a pain because some of them you can't take the lids off, but with these, they do pop out, which is just brilliant. And funny enough, I <laughs> just worked that out the other day when, um, uh, unfortunately, not when I was doing all these guys, but when I had a couple girls come in. And they are stackable, which is great. So you just have to change these little tops up here. And then after that, you can mount them on top of each other, which is brilliant. 
I didn't want to do that in here because of these girls. I want them to sit still. I want their enclosures basically never to move unless I have to change their substrate. Uh, it doesn't happen often. All right, I'm gonna pause this camera and hyperlapse that one. are all set up now unfortunately my other camera has died and silly me uh, forgot to charge the other batteries doesn't matter I'll finish it off on the phone but let's get these girls in their enclosures but first I just need to give it a spray just a quick one just a light one it doesn't need a heavy one Let's get them in because I bet they can't wait to stretch their long legs. So let's start with you, honey.
Okay, singers, so these girls are all house now, so I'm going to wrap this video up. So please, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can by always hitting that bell button down below. Until next time, see ya.